What's up guys, Damien Keyes here, welcome back to the channel. So 2020 has been a pretty crazy year so far and I don't think it's gonna have much let up over the next couple of months from top to bottom, whether you are a musician playing stadiums, the biggest festivals in the world, right the way through to pubs, clubs, weddings, and even cruise lines. To put this into perspective, I have a management company that manages commercial bands and we lost 900 events within the first three months and that is still ongoing through 2020. So it's pretty crazy, but let's fast forward. The year is now 2021. And what does 2021 look like based on the last 100 years of the music industry? Well, let's find out. Come with me on a futuristic journey. Traditionally, recessions have been good for the music industry. Usually, they take a big hit and then they come bouncing back stronger, usually with some kind of innovation and some kind of reaction to what's happened. Now that we know that there's going to be a decline in high streets, which means that everyone is now consuming media more than ever, including adverts. So the sync market is probably going to go crazy. Musicians who always need their music to be attached to something it means that their music can now be attached to more TV, more video, more computer games, and also more adverts. So 2021 will be a big year for publishing and sync deals. How are you gonna get your music in front of people and get paid for it? That is a big win. Now at the moment, we are seeing all travel pause, not just the airlines, but everything in general because we aren't allowed to leave our house, which is very reminiscent of the 1979 oil crisis, which came about because of a revolution in Iran and it affected all world travel. Now what happened was there was a huge decline in any live music because people couldn't travel to do their tours. So once again, the music industry took a massive hit. But out of that huge hit over the next 24 months came the rise of the CD. One thing we see with the music industry is when you stop something, the music will always find another way. For example, in 2008 with the rise of streaming and Spotify. Now 2020 has seen the rise of live streaming and 2021 will see the continuance. It will see a new generation of live streaming like a platform in itself and every single social media will find its way to have its live streaming and musicians will be taking advantage of that feature. Now, one thing that's predicted is potential mass unemployment, which has been compared to the Great Depression of 1929, where there was a lot of unemployment. And as a result of this, discs for gramophones dropped significantly. But 12 months later was the launch of the first commercial vinyl player and vinyl became a thing out of the ashes rose a new way to attach music to something, which then saw a huge resurgence in music over the next 50 years. Fast forward over 50 years to the Black Monday crash of 1987, when it didn't actually affect the music industry from the point of view of us musicians, except all of the music businesses really struggled and you started to see labels buying labels and that formed a huge part of what we have today when it comes the music industry. So what we'll probably see in 2021 are less of these huge deals, less bands being picked up by major labels as they throw shit at the wall. Meanwhile, more of the DIY artists that are proving their worth will start to jump onto major labels, so it's more about momentum rather than taking any risks. September the 11th, 2001, the day that shook the world. And as a result of it, planes were grounded and there was no world tours for one whole year. As the music industry stopped, it was terrible. But one thing that we know is in 2002, the world wanted to party. The world wanted to actually get out and go to live gigs. And what we saw from 2002 right the way up to 2008 was a huge lift in live gigs. There were more tours, there were more festivals, and we saw a huge upturn in bands being able to make their living from touring and live gigs. 
Now I think this is the closest example of what we have seen in modern times for the music industry. Planes have been grounded, we can't go on tour, but I have seen myself that most of the people who are not cancelling gigs but postponing gigs until the following year, which leads me to believe that 2021 will be a huge year for the touring market. 2020 has also seen a massive influx in online teaching as musicians try and claw back money to live and pay for their rent. This means it's going to be a noisier market, which means the strongest will survive as we go into 2021. It's no longer gonna be something where people can turn on and do some private lessons because only the strongest will survive in a noisy market. I saw a very similar thing after the 2008 crash in the commercial band and wedding industry, where there were plenty of musicians who would just turn up to gigs, knowing a rough bunch of songs, turning up with other musicians who they didn't, hadn't even met before, and what happened was that changed, and now the wedding industry is a very, very tough industry. It's a very competitive industry, and this is now bands' livelihoods. So for anyone wanting to teach music in 2021 in a noisy, competitive space, you are going to have to learn marketing to the highest level, because only the strongest will survive. So what we have learned about the music industry over the last hundred years is it's very durable. It's kind of like Rocky in a Rocky film. It takes an absolute battering at the beginning, but it always comes back fighting and it always finds a way to win in the end. So what exactly will 2021 look like for musicians like yourself? Number one, control is everything. The winners in 2021 and moving forward are the musicians who are now a walking music business. They are entrepreneurial. They understand everything within their business and how to get their music in front of people. They understand marketing. They understand distribution. They understand releases. They understand adverts. They understand that they don't have that much money because of the return of investment, but if they know the industry, they can make this work for themselves and the rest of their team. Number two, diversification. We are gonna see ups and downs, but if you've got a diverse portfolio, which effectively means you are getting income streams from different places, everything from streaming, from live gigs, from merch, from sync deals and everything else that goes along with it, those are the people that are going to win rather than the people who are putting all of the eggs in their one basket. Number three, innovation. We have seen after every single recession along the line, it has been innovation that has regenerated the music industry. Whether that's been vinyl, CD, streaming, or in this case, possibly live streaming, there has always been something innovative that has stoked the music back to life again. So the question for you is, what is it that you are doing that is different or better than everybody else? Because you now need to be remarkable. You need to capture people's attention more than you've ever done before. And the way you do that is because you have something that brings that attention to make it remarkable. Number four, people need music, especially in a time of crisis. But one thing that's been made clear is music does best when it's attached to something. And whether that's something physical, like vinyl or cassette or CD, or whether that's something like an advert or TV or film or a computer game, what can you attach your music to whilst you're building your brand? And number five, and probably the most important point of this entire video is patience. We know from history that things will get back to normal. We know that it's going to be okay. We just don't know how long that's going to be. And the way I see it is whether that's gonna be six or 12 or 18 months down the line, what we've got to do is we've got to focus on now. The way I see it is like a boxer going into a fight. They know they've got the fight in maybe three months time, but they're not having the fight now. They're having the fight in three months time. So it's the training, it's the preparation, 
It's the mindset now getting them ready for that fight. So when they walk into that fight, they are completely ready. As musicians, what we've got to do is we have to make ourselves ready. We have a three to six month window. This is the time where we have to be prepared. We have to do the most amount of practice. We have to do the marketing. We have to have the strategy. We have to learn this industry inside and out so that we can navigate it and we are getting ourselves ready for that fight, whether that's six or 12 months down the line. Our job now is to be ready for then. So 2020 has been a pretty crazy year and we're not even halfway through, but let's hope that by the time we do get to 2021, there is some kind of semblance of normality. But I wanna know, what do you think is gonna happen in 2021? Is it still gonna be doom and gloom or is there gonna be some new innovation, maybe virtual reality that's gonna take over that we can attach music to, that's gonna revitalize the entire industry and all of us musicians? What are your thoughts on and what does the music industry look like for musicians in 2021? I really wanna know, I'm really interested on what you think about this, so leave your comments below. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you can do me a favor, if you can like, more importantly, if you can subscribe and be a part of this community, I will so much appreciate you more because I'm on 84,000 subs and I'm really getting close to the 100K mark and I really want that plaque to put on the wall. So if you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe, but more importantly, come and leave a comment and be a part of this community, but stay safe and I'll see you guys tomorrow.